I'm going to begin every Monday with mindset strategies for you to be able to better control your mind, manage your emotions, and create your reality. Mindset Monday. And it's a good start to talk about how you can control your emotions. And first thing you have to consider when controlling your emotions is recognize where emotion comes from. Emotion comes from thoughts and not the other way around. I know you recognize and you probably think that uh, thoughts come from emotions because you feel an overwhelming uh, amount of emotions and then you, it manages how you think. And in fact, if you're like most people, you cannot control what you think. You feel the emotion and you act on emotion. And when it comes to negotiations, we use this to our advantage. In fact, emotion is so powerful. I'm not saying thoughts are more powerful. Emotion is tremendously powerful and controls most people. It manages most people's perception of reality. And I'll prove it to you. And so in negotiations, we take advantage of these emotional things because most people act on emotions. And we uh, utilize strategy to be able to get them to think our way based on managing, manipulating emotions. And you're being manipulated right now by social media, by ad advertisement, by other companies manipulating you because they understand this fundamental premise that people's emotions are incredibly powerful. You have about thousands of thoughts and every second that goes on. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands. And you can only grasp at about seven. Several thoughts you can only grasp at once. Now these thousands of thoughts are coming from your observation of your environment that you don't really pay attention to. Your unconscious grasps it, but you don't pay attention to that. You only grasp about several things at any one time and those several thoughts that you grab a hold on to makes all the difference in the world. It makes every perception of your reality. It is your creation of your reality, which thoughts you perhaps have thousands of thoughts which are positive, thousands of thoughts which are negative, and which one you grab a hold to, which one you focus on, will create your reality. There is a theory called the triune brain theory, triune meaning tri, which says that we, our brain evolved from three brains that evolved over each other. First of all, which is the reptilian brain, the limbic system, the reptilian brain, and then the mammalian brain, and then the neocortex, which contains a logical brain, which makes us human. The, tri the, the reptilian brain is the first brain we've evolved, and which is the fight or flight brain. It's where the amygdala sits, and amygdala has three times the space for fear, so that you can process fear and go on fight or flight. And so let me prove to you that emotions come from thoughts and strictly thoughts. And those thoughts which you grab, grab a hold on to are the thoughts in which um, creates your reality. If, someone, if your friend were to tell you, watch out, look behind you, there's a snake. And you feel a rush of emotions and you feel this emotion called fight or flight and you look back behind you, you jump out of your skin, and you look back behind you, and there's no snake. And your friend says, I'm just joking, there's no snake. But the feeling you felt was absolutely 100% real. And it's the same thing when you hear rustling in the bush. You feel an instinctive fear, and you go fight or flight. That emotion is a chemical reaction. It's a symptom of a chemical reaction your brain produces. And so are all other emotions. Did you know that people worry for no reason at all? People make up things, make up their fears, their projections of the future based on fears they have now, and they feel the emotion now, which is, of course, completely made up, and most of their words never happen. Well, that's a different story for a different time. So let me show you how you can control your emotions. Because it's, it's, it takes tremendous amount of practice to be able to manage your thoughts. 
and choose which thoughts which you grab a hold on to. And in fact, for most people, if you're like most people, it's incredibly hard to control your emotions and manage your thoughts in the moment. So let me give you a model for you to follow so you can better manage your emotions. Remember, your ego is not you. You have your ego center, you have you, and then you have your emotional core. So let's say in this model of the emotional core, the processes of your emotions, and then there's your ego, which is a part of your brain, which is, comes from language, which is sole purpose it is, is to manage itself. Its sole job is only purpose. The ego's only purpose is so that it not be diminished. And anything that diminishes it, which is the perception of other people, diminishes it and fights against it. The sole job of your ego. Your ego is not you. And if you ask yourself, I don't have an ego, my ego is me. Well, you're talking to yourself. And who are you talking to? You're talking to your ego. Or your ego's talking to you. So, you have your ego center, your ego core. And then you have your emotional core, your emotional processes. And then you have you. Now, you can't directly communicate with your emotional center, your emotional core. It's very hard to stop, to stop yourself saying, stop worrying, stop worrying. It's very hard. Now you can, talk to, you can communicate with your ego. You can tell your ego certain things. And here's the cool thing. Your ego can speak with your emotional core. And so this is how you go over every fear. You know, the first person, uh, the first person who ever flew off a plane on a parachute must have been tremendously courageous. Because especially that we, our primal fear is fear of falling, fear of loud noises. Fear of falling and fear of loud noises and fear of pain. To get over those things, those primal fears, takes tremendous practice. And so all of your fears you get over, and you get over it in this way. You communicate with your ego. You communicate with it logically. And your ego will communicate with your emotional center. It may not take one try. It may take a few tries. It may take several tries. And at, one, at, at some point, you recognize that you've gotten over your fear without knowing it. You communicate to your ego, and your ego will pass it down to your emotional core. And you communicate with it logically. And you say, silly, there is no snake behind you. Silly, all of your worries are just projections of your insecurities. And then you actually go up to the person, you communicate with other people, and you find out, wow, it wasn't what I feared. These people are awesome. And I can communicate with them so tremendously comfortably. I know what I'm talking about. I am actually the shit. Wow, I did not know this. Why didn't I try this before? We'll talk about that at a different time, but if you like this, click the like. And my call to action to you is uh, join our group. Join our group, go to my link on my bio, and click the first link. And uh, join our group so you can have, it's for relationships for people who are smart and savvy. And you learn all of these incredible te communication techniques. And the third thing is I want you to click the like, click the heart, comment below what you think about this, what you think about controlling your emotions, and share this video with other people. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.